Hi and welcome back to Miss Tranches. Okay, this video I've got a couple of feeds and some updates and stuff. I also went to Jolly's um, pet shop in West Midlands and they had a reptile trust group there for the day, um, explaining what they were doing. So the lovely lady there, she did let me feed, let me let me feed, let me film while I was there. So I have the details here. It is the Proteus Reptile Trust in Sedgley. I will put these details down in the description if anybody would like to try and contact them. Um, so yeah, and unfortunately I've had a couple of deaths. I've had my little Dunker Slingers died and my little tiny velvet spider, it was only a speck. It's never eaten, didn't do anything. So that died, I'm absolutely gutted. So I have got to get me one of them because it's one of my favorite trues. So anyway, I hope you like the video and I'll catch you at the end. Bye. I'm, I'm, I'm at Jolly's house holding a, 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 a baby dra dragon for, for, the, for the pet rescue centre. Can you tell us about it? Can you tell me anything about the rescue centre? Hello. Um, yeah, we are a reptile rescue from Sedgley called Proteus Reptile Trust and we're just here today to raise awareness and to give um, help and advice to people. Um, but keep reptiles or are interested in adopting one. Okay, so if anybody wanted to, any information, how would they contact you? Um, they can find us on Facebook um, or pop in on a Saturday anytime between 10 and 4. Um, awesome. They can just pop in and have a chat with us. Okay, brilliant, thank you. So it looks a bit crispy at the moment because he's shedding the skin. What is it? This is a boss monitor lizard. Yeah. What, what's look. his name? His name's Ty. Ty. <laughs> oh, you're cool. Look at them claws. <laughs> Uh, 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 I like his little tongue. He's cool, isn't he? He's got like a snake's tongue, hasn't he? Yeah, I am in Jolly's pet supermarket in Willen Hall. Oh. It's still quite long though, isn't it? But he uses his tongue to hunt as well. Yep, and, and, so, and, and smell. Yeah, he uses it to smell. Okay, my Lucas has number two has molted so it's been a while now so i am going to see if he wants a squirmy wormy there you go guys i can nudge that a little bit closer to his layer sorry mate it's very annoying he looks bigger than, than i expected who the worm or Lucas. Uh, Lucas. Yes. Oh, we've got movement. Oh, looks like the worm is backing off. Oh, we've got action. Okay, he's out. That looks way too big for that spider. Look at those colours. Yeah. He can't take that down, can he? It's too big. Mm -hmm. Too big. Mm -hmm. um, as, as I always say, jumping spiders yeah, I know, can but... be much bigger than this. Yeah, I know, but. Flaming hell, it's literally just leapt at it. Like, like, like a jumping spider. Oh my god, that was mental. Look, look at those those iridescent fangs now. It, it, it's, it's like a purpley colour. I didn't think he was going to get that. You just see him fly through the air to get it. But that looked ace. Fair play, mate. You did your job. The flying spider. Yes. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, fruit fly just seen them walk past. Look at this, Jess, come here. That is 
Oh. That really is cool, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. You're a hungry boy after you've had your bolt. That is crazy. Okay, mate. Guys. That reminds me. I need to finish my um, jumping spider painting. That I've only done half of. That is mad. Well, mate, you're a little champ. Because I didn't think you were going to do that. But you have... Look at that Sam. green. Oh, that green. Yeah. Wow, that is stunning. Yeah, I got the roach. I saw it. Missed me putting it in. But I've got rubbish glare, unfortunately. There he is. There's Maz, my Nandu Colorivisolosus. Nandu Colorivisolosus. It's not called that, it's Colorivisolosus or something. I've given up. Oh, that roach is giving it some fight. Look at that. Boost. Huge fangs. Wow. The roach juice. Yeah. You're pretty though. Razor sharp fangs the versus yes. kicking legs. <coughs> I put this roach in yesterday and didn't think she was going to take it. But. Right, okay. The millipede enclosure that I set up. Um, I've got two millies that have buried themselves away somewhere, and the other one is in yeah. over there. Can you see it just written there? You, 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 you might see cucumber. Thank you, it's time. Right, but basically I've just been told that the snails Gen African land snails can't go in here. So until they get bigger, I'm gonna put them in here, but Oh my god, that's gross. How the hell do I get you off? I I told you it would be a bit of a challenge. Right. We'll give it a bit. There you go, mate. Okay, there's one in. One in over there. Yeah. Okay, let me try and get this second one. I know, mate. I know, I know. I know, I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. And I'm going to put you over here next to your mate. All right, this is what I've read. Somebody did suggest to me that this could happen. I'm just going to put you in there with your cuttlefish. Come on, missus. Is it already a bit of... Yeah, I know, that's for the... The millies, yeah. so there you go. And mate. roaches. Have your cuttlefish. Because at the moment in here it is just getting covered in oh, motorbike going past snail poop. That is becoming a nightmare to maintain. But my thinking is is because in here there's a lot of cleanup crew in here. I figured their poop will be mm, just hissed at me. I, 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 I think that, that was a roach. No, no, it wasn't. It was that. So I've put them in here, in with the millies, because it's going to be a while before I can actually get any more millies and isopods and things anyway. So I just thought I'd show you how this is setting up. Two scissors are there, one's there. You see? Oh, there's a couple of isopods there. I'm not really seeing a lot of isopods, to be honest. Oh. Where are all the isopods gone? Seriously, this is normally full of them. I've got springtails of a vengeance, but... Well, 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 I saw some that red in, in, oh, there's one. in his mouth. In Cucumber's mouth. No, it's okay. It's just a bit of him. It's a trait. <coughs> yeah, but seriously, I think all the... Oh, I've got babies. But all the big isopods seem to be in hiding at the moment. Oh, oh, 
There's Rainbow. I'm having a party with some of the some of the isopods by the looks of it. Cheers. Okay, put you back over there. So basically, that is how that is getting on. So I am gonna put some cucumber and Cute. sweet potato there. I'm gonna put a bit over there. And over there. There. Can you get me the bug jar from over there, Jess? Because that is just Okay, they are chilling out quite nicely and they're having an explore of the wood and stuff. The wood. A little water, some bucket gel, some thingies and so from what I was told they could go all together so I did a bit of research. It looks like that is possible but is there anything I could do to change or make it better? Let me know. In the comments down below. Yep, but moment. Mm, quite. Cool. I'm quite happy with this setup so far. It looks pretty funky. Uh, next to Mad, Mad Stick. Yeah. Next to Mad, who's still uh, scoffing away and crab stick. And crab stick in the corner. I was refusing to eat a since. Corner crab stick. Okay. I'll get a close up of these. Freaky white things that are called giant African lanterns. No, what do we call them? Cinderella, Ariel, Sleeping Beauty, and no, 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 no. It, it, it was Ariel, Cinderella, Anna, and Elsa. They, she called them. Of course, they're for your girl choose a name or something. Okay. Okay. Um, the lid that was on the tank isn't really working for me. So what I've done is I've put some netting over it and some elastic but it's not pulling it tight tight so i have put some like slabs on top of it for now but i can show you underneath here the snails are already trying to go on and my concern is that if it presses on it it's going to pull the netting in so i'm really not sure what to do with it i don't know whether if I, if I get some chicken wire obviously the chicken wire can be too the hole's going to be too big because i've got lots of tiny isopods and things if i was to wrap the chicken wire in the netting and try and secure that some way um so any ideas someone let me know because i haven't got a clue i just thought i'd show you that i've revamped nagini's enclosure a bit he has still got his cold hide over here that has never once used his big water bowl and logs and some plants and his little water bowl here that he tends to use more often and there's my little naggy new there who i'm not going to disturb anymore because he has fed fruit fly in here he has fed yesterday but just wanted to show you how his new Oh, just looking. I think it's pretty cool. I'm back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs it down. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. That really does help. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Jennifer's Tarantulas. And don't forget the Reptile Trust. I'll put the instruction information in the losing the plot here description. And also thank you to the lovely ladies at Jolly's who did. Let me do a bit of filming when I was there as well. So thank you to those guys. Go and check them out. They're really helpful. Anyway, guys, so I will see you in the next video. Bye.